The next race for Gonzaga here will be the men's uh, youth lightweight eights. Um, and we're looking at Chris Meyer stroking this boat. Uh, Chris Morrison is in the seventh seat. Owen Everett, Everett is in the sixth. Uh, Evan Donahoe is in the five. Chris Chan is in the four. Andres Borjas is in the three seat. In the two, we have Eric Kessmeyer. And in the bow, Cal Donnelly. It is coxed by J.C. John Carluccio. Uh, and they will be facing off against Williamsburg in lane one. Gonzaga will be in lane two. Mountain Lakes is in lane three. In lane four, we have Haddonfield. In lane five, Radner. And Montgomery Boat Club is in lane six. And they are going off at about 11.04. Event number 94. And you can see, I believe that is Gonzaga lined up way out there in the middle of the screen. There's a race in front of them right now, but they are waiting for the lightweight eights to get going, which should happen here in about uh, five minutes. And the lightweight eights are on the water. You can see there Gonzaga pulling out their start their first 20. That's uh, Mountain Lakes is there on the left. Uh, Williamsburg and the Blues on the right. There we go! Go Lakers! It's like they're getting out to a furious start as they should. And we'll see them settling in here soon as you see the launch pull up around behind them. Looks like Mountain Lakes got out to a pretty, pretty fast start there. As you go across, there's Haddonfield and Radnor and Montgomery Boat Club, but uh, if anybody's got a lead, it'll be Mountain Lakes. Zaga is settled in though. They look like they are moving nicely now. There's Mountain Lakes is still thrashing around a little bit. Zaga does look like it's ahead of Williamsburg, uh, which is to the right of them. But we're only in the first third of the race here. It's probably 500 meters in that marker there on the right. are all kind of lined up across. Mountain Lakes is still there. And there's Haddonfield. You see the ones over here, but Like, uh, like Mountain Lakes, Haddonfield, and then Gonzaga right now. So we're getting to about the halfway point, I would say. Let me scan across here. Boat in lane five is getting to move as well. They're so going to need to straighten out their boat a little bit. But they are moving. They are moving. It looks like they are now coming up possibly close to the lead. 
they really made some effort and some strides in the second third of the race here. They may be out front now. It's hard to tell with the ones that are farther over here. Mountain Lakes looks like it's fallen back. Zaga could have an open water lead at this point. That was a pretty spectacular move they made there in the middle third of this race. And now we're coming into the final third. Looks like Gonzaga's got a sizable lead. They're really torching it now. for their Stotesbury next week. We got a sprint now. Let's see what's going on over here. These uh, other boats, Haddonfield and uh, Radner, are trying to make moves now. Especially Radner in lane five. But I think Gonzaga's still got this well in hand. We're into the final 300 meters here. And they're really putting one on the field. You can see there's the field and there's Gonzaga. We'll win this by a large segment of open water. Uh, looking beautiful here. <laughs> Radner's in second, but they are about three boat lengths back from Gonzaga. We see them come across to the finish here. And Zaga will take this in style. Uh, we just watch them cross the finish. Let's go, Lakers! For their victory. And it looks like uh, Radner's next. Followed by Montgomery Boat Club. And then uh, Mountain Lakes and Williamsburg. No, Mountain Lakes and Haddonfield, sorry. Williamsburg is bringing up the field. That was spectacular. And here's Gonzaga. Way to go, he goes! Well, the only question is if they're going to be able to make it up for that next race, which is unlikely, but <laughs> since it starts in about five minutes, <laughs> we'll see if they wait for him. Nice job, guys.